Hello, welcome again. Um, in this video, we're going to continue the seven steps of selling. We talked about the Bab is greeting. Welcome to Bob's. Would you like to look around? Which is very important. It is a unique for Bob's and it helps the customer um, to get a space and look around. Um, we talked about qualifying, which was also very important um, by asking qualifying questions. It will help you to narrow down the selling process, get more information from the customer so you can lead to the product that will um, that they needed. And then we talked about also the uh, presentation um, by you know mentioning the benefits, the features and the benefits of, 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 of the item that the customer is looking at. Um, and we mentioned that anytime you mention a feature, you have to mention the benefit too because that will help the customer to make the buying decision. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how you handle the concerns. Um, before we talk about how we handle it, let's ask ourselves this, why do, P why do customers always give you an objection? There is a three main reason is that they give you an objection. Reason number one is that misunderstanding. Maybe they don't understand what you talked about. Maybe they don't understand the features and the benefits for this piece maybe there is a misunderstanding for somehow. That's one of the reasons. Second reason could be a legitimate concern. Maybe uh, the concern is that they don't have the money. Um, maybe the concern is that they don't know, they don't think that this piece is going to fit in their home, so they need some help. Um, the third one will be smoke screen. They just want to give you an objection. They just want to say, hey, I want to think about it. I want to come back another day. I need to talk to my partner. That's a smoke screen. So how do you handle it? There's a five-step process that we're going to use to handle any of those objections. Step number one, neutralize. Let's say the customer said, it's too expensive. I don't want to spend that much money. That's a concern. That's an objection. You will say something like, okay, I understand your point. When you say that, you don't agree that the piece is too expensive, but you're trying to neutralize and disarm the customer. So you will have an open, uh, you will have a dialogue with him or with her. So when you say that statement, you will immediately go and confirm if that is the only concern they have it today by simply asking, is that the only concern you have today? Is it too pricey for you? If they say yes, then you're going to find out, you're going to go to the third step, which is question and uncover. You simply ask like, why do you think that way, if you don't mind? Why do you think it's too expensive? So they will tell you a story. Maybe they, maybe they will tell you, hey, I went to uh, the other store the other day, a different company, and then um, they were... I found something similar to this, but it was $100 less. So now you found out that they went to a competition, they found something similar, maybe, and then it was a little bit less price. Or maybe they, were, they told them that they will give you a free delivery. Okay? Now you found. Once you found that, then you have to reposition yourself. Reposition yourself, you could say something like, I apologize. I, you know, I... Didn't I, I? You know, I didn't. I uh, that I didn't explain to you that this is um, uh, the, all the features and the benefits for this set. There is no way that you can feel um, this this uh, piece of furniture is is too expensive for the price point that we are given right now. When you say that opening statement, then you go back and you explain all the features and the benefits for the set. You mention the features and you mention the benefits so that they will understand all the features and the benefits they have it. Okay? When is you do that before you go let the customer talk, re-ask for the sale. Re-ask for the sale. You know, re-ask for the sale, you position, you explain everything, then ask for the sale again. These, if you follow these five steps with every customer, you can diffuse almost every objection they have it. If the objection is just like a smoke screen, they are not ready to buy and all that stuff. You, you, you will find out by following these five steps. 
And then if you find out it's a smoke screen, they just don't want to buy it. There's nothing you can do about it. Let them go. But if it is a really legitimate concern, like the the guy, the, the customer bought, saw something similar in the competition and was $100 less, talk about it. If the concern comes down to be, I don't have the money, that's out of my budget. Talk about the financing and other options. So follow these three, these five steps whenever you are dealing with an objection with a customer. Neutralize, asking something like, you know, uh, try to neutralize the, the objection. Confirm if that's the only objection they have it today so there is no another one. If they tell you another one, then you will have, you have to deal with two or three objections. It's whatever they tell you. Then question and uncover. Ask them why they feel that way. Let them talk. And after they talk, you reposition yourself by giving yourself a platform so you can come back and explain all the features and the benefits for the set one more time. And then ask for the sale. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much.